Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. I'm Boku Bell. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm special guest T Stymac. Although I feel like maybe I should stop saying special guest. I've been here for three episodes. I, I just want to say that you are always special. To Aww. Us. And as long as you're special, you can't get too comfortable. All right. <laughs> so, boldly go. Uh, Captain uh, Emoji is behind the controls. God help us all. <laughs> We're gonna go try to get our souls back. You remember where I died? I don't. I nope. haven't a clue. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go with. No, feels we didn't right. have that many souls. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go where it feels right. Hey, there's a message. Gesture. Oh yeah. Um, you can unlock uh, the in-game currency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is more useful in the online portion of this game, where you're trying to gesticulated other human beings. I can't see this being the way that I interact with NPCs, is it really? It is not. Okay. Uh, also, it is not terribly useful in the online component of this game. But that is what it's supposed to do, right? Yeah. Okay, that's Basically. a gesture. That is a gesture. Now there's okay. a man. There is a man, man. What's up? Hello there. My guy. I believe we are not acquainted. We are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Petrus. Have you business with us? If not, how oh, could we keep have business if, possible. business if we're not? I don't think we're dead. I mean, I'll, yeah, look at us. I would also say that. I don't. I don't think he likes us. I'm gonna go up these crazy stairs. So in uh, Dark Souls One, which is what we're playing, when you die and become hollowed, which is what we are, you you get a, a not great face. But one of the cool things we do in, look like a chewed piece of licorice. In Dark Souls Two. Uh, you don't become unhollowed all at once, uh, oh. so that that degrades over time, and it's pretty cool. Oh, neat. Um, that doesn't look good. Coming, yeah, yeah. I gotta say that I am uh, really impressed by yeah, there's some chests. There's some chests. Oh. You guys are really exploring, which is of course part of the game, and those uh, probably are homeward bone. Yeah, that's a, a new thing. It's a consumable. And when you don't have all of your consumable slots full, uh, they oh. auto-equip. A morning star. That could be better than our axe. And a talisman. I love that board game. We do love that Maybe board game. Maybe we can game. challenge them to that. I feel like I have a better shot in that than having to fight them. <laughs> um, um, okay. Uh, weapon. Okay. okay. Okay, how do I look and see what the weapons, how they stack up? Uh, if you click A, and then you click X, and then you can go down to the Morning Star, and it will tell you. It's better. Oh, well, um, it does more it damage. It does more damage, and it it's got the same scaling with strength, but it does not scale with, uh, dex, at with all. dex at all. But it has an auxiliary effect? Yes. I'll say, what's that 300 at the bottom? That is bleeding. So if you can cause bleeding, if you can fill an enemy's bleed meter... You will do 300 points of damage. Now, so far wow. we've only fought one thing that bleeds. And that's us. Uh, well, <laughs> two things if we are our own the enemy. Bird? Uh, bird doesn't bleed, it just feathers. No, the uh, the dragon thing. Uh, dead yes. Pete the dragon. The asylum demon? Yeah. Okay. It bleed. There we go. I gotta say, I'm really uh, also very happy how you guys immediately... Oh, because you guys all watch... We watched that video where they talked about yeah. how the shield is a trap. Oh, also, um, if anyone's ever watched me yeah, play yeah. a fighting game, I don't remember I have a block button, like, yeah, no, 85% this is... of the time. Oh, okay. This it, is it... just how I live my life. Okay. If Captain Emoji wasn't dual wielding, he'd be uh, two-handing. That's just how he rolls. Fair enough. Unless you can change the uh, weapon on him. Maybe not. Hey, aren't we kind of close to where the... Those are skeletons. Yeah. Skeletons. Yeah. What direction did you go from uh, where If I you am? fall off there, you'd have to run up the hill. Left? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the skelly jellies are there, which means... Oh, there's the void. And then I fell off uh, where you're going. There's the bird. If you follow okay. that all the way around... So I'm not sure if you aggroed those skeletons and they're following you or not. 
Don't know. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna there's look only yet. one way to find out, and that's if you. I want to make sure I get this first. Whatever happens. We're kind of in a in a Schrodinger's it okay. follows situation. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, you did. Skellington. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smunch it. Can I? Cream shit. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Good Once job. that guy falls down, you oh, can no. just beat him. Are they forever skills? Yeah, they it feels just have like a lot it. of hit points. Scrunkle it. Oh. Scrinkle it. Nope. Oh. Done. Oh. Gotcha. Done. Well, well, I went about as well as I thought it was going to go. <laughs> you did pretty well, all all things considered. <laughs> I collected our souls at least. We're not at a we're not at a net loss. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We got ourselves a new weapon. We got Ooh. our souls back, and we also got our humanity <coughs> back, which is a little more important. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, since that improves our item discovery. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh. So. And now T. Stymac has the controls and can equip his weapons as he sees fit. So here's something else to know. Uh, the menu doesn't pause. Oh, yeah. And also, the stick doesn't do anything in the menu, which is why I'm running around. <laughs> Alright. What's a talisman do? Uh, talisman is how you cast miracles, of which we have not. Ah, gotcha. Our miracles, I mean, they, it's in the name. I they're, they're really, really spells. big spells. Well, they're divine spells. Yeah, uh, uh, cares, heal, shields. Oh, okay. Holy uh, damage, I don't know. <laughs> lots of pillars of salt. Yeah. I'm gonna you know, go get our. You know, if you can't kill stuff, back. it sounds useful. So the last time. We should immobilize them. We were. We were out. I see what you mean about the stick falling a bit. Yeah. Uh, old Xbox controller. We're gonna have to get a new one. I can bring one of mine. I got like six at home. It's also probably in our best interest to get one. I mean, we do play the 360. It's a fun little console even now. That's true. I still only have a 360. And the things that will run on my five-year-old PC. Wow. Yeah. I got serious gamer cred. <laughs> Good Nintendo. <laughs> um, that would require funds, I guess, yeah, is the best word. That's fair. Understandable. We didn't grab any of those uh, things by the skeletons. We just showed up and ran away from them. It's true. Yeah, we, we kind of left the skeletons <coughs> for dead. I was kind of hoping I didn't spawn them. I thought maybe I was out of range, but uh, the makers of this game knew exactly where I was going to land on that drop, so... So, what do you guys think? I'm thinking I'm going to try this sword for a little while. I like swords. Swords uh, are pretty cool. That is a statement that is true specifically in Dark Souls and also in life in general. Uh, because I'm a big old nerd. The problem with the sword is it's a stabby sword, and everybody knows that doesn't hurt skeletons as much. That, that's fair. It hurts their I, feelings, I, but I it just, doesn't... <laughs> I just... Monster Hunter has taught me that everything's weak to hammer. So, I mean, a big crushing weapon seemed like a good call. So, if you remember the last time we were doing this, uh, we talked to this guy and we ignored him. But what he was telling us mm -hmm. is that there are not one, but two bells of awakening. One is in the undead church, which is... Can you see it from here? I don't think so. Somewhere Where over the there. heck up there. And the other is down uh, in Blight Town. Down in the Blight. In the, in the Swamp Healers? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't actually get to that yet. But if we want to go to the Undead Church... So we, we've taken two different paths so far. Let's go find Jesus. Did we take all the wrong ones? There's no such thing as a wrong path. There is. It yeah, punishes you Yeah, I mean, I found those death. two ghosts. Yeah. Got a bunch of souls from it. And then you found the, uh, the, the, the hammer and the talisman. And the... The, uh, they refer to be called Smoochie Boos. Just as a... <laughs> I yeah. like that. Smoochie Boo? I thought that yeah. was really good for a kissy ghost. I, I think I think a Dragon Quest game would totally call it that. Oh, it definitely would. That's precious. Oh. <laughs> so 
I can't help but notice that someone's trying to napalm you. I yeah, did, there's I did a guy upstairs who, uh, up there. Really annoying. There's some souls. Well, it might be souls. I can't actually remember what that is. Let's find out. I'm... Oh, it is souls. Oh, heck, oh, heck. It's a firebomb <laughs> on your head. It's a trap. It is a trap. I guess I could have come up here and taken care of this first, but... I would hate for you guys to think that I'm competent. You just don't want to show us up. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, you're trying to make us feel better. No, see, you guys, it really is hard. <laughs> oh, man, I guess it got me. We're all the same now. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dunk noise it makes when you when he uh, doesn't connect. Yeah, it's uh, I really like the sound. I, I like everything about this game. If I'm being completely honest, no. There's okay. I, that's <laughs> actually not true. There are two things I don't like in this game. Uh huh. Uh, and you will know what they are when we play. Oh, uh, yes, because <laughs> I too love everything so far. So, right now we've got enough souls that if we wanted to, we could level up or we could uh, keep going and press on into danger. What do you guys think? Well, as long as you're playing, I would say press on. But if it's anybody else, I would say sweet Jesus, go level. You guys really are going to be so disappointed when you find <laughs> out how good I actually am at this game. You, you know what? Think... One-Eyed Man I, I, I figure you've is achieved king base in the land of the blind. Which is, which is more than most of us have right now. But we're going to get there. Together, oh, we're I gonna. The There's a door back there. There is, but it doesn't open from the side. That oh, one, it's like I the mean. door in the there asylum place where we ended up back at the beginning and could open it later. That's right. So, I would love oh. for if people could put in the comments what they love about this game. Like, make me fall in love with this. Tell me, tell me why. What's good about it? What matters to you? When your moment of oh hey, I love this was. I I will say that I've always wanted to Waste. engage with this game Clock. because visually Waste. Clock. it is appealing. Waste to clock me, for your junk. Yeah, we got we got a skirt right now. Slap that waist cloth on. Well, maybe maybe showing a little more leg will help. Is that what we're talking about here? Show well, them those gams. It'll up our uh, equip load a bit, which is not always ideal. Oh, no, it won't. It'll last. And it'll increase our physical defense and a lot of our other defenses. Yeah. As long as they're not striking And you're going to be able to hitchhike magic. a lot easier. I mean. The other thing uh, that it'll up is our poise. And our poise is the thing that makes it so we don't get staggered when somebody hits us. That, Just, that seems like a good stat. That's a good stat. Give him the old razzle that Yes! <laughs> oh, <laughs> everything oh, you dream! Oh, oh my yes! Goodness. Let's get right into yes. it. Like, like Take two, a look. Like, see how lucky he's doing. Give him the old razzle Like razzle. two burned tree trunks. <laughs> <laughs> right. like, how like can they two, see two, with two... sequins in their eyes? <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, it looks like you survived a forest fire. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, survived. Well, survived is generous. Maybe, no, let's but... be real. Spooky oh, Bear yeah. survived a forest fire. We endured a forest there fire. We go. <laughs> You're gonna have to do some stabbing if they're gonna. Oh, oh God. No. No. Oh, God. No, don't we? <laughs> we can't lose our souls. They will never get them back. <laughs> so I have uh... a. <laughs> I, this is my my copy of Dark Souls. Oh, heck, I forget how far the arc on that is. Christ! Fire does a lot of damage. Yeah. Th lie. This is my copy of Dark Souls, and I left it here, what, four or five months ago? We yeah. only need one shoe. Uh, so I have am a little out of practice. One uh, shoe for the kiss of booze. I'm going to go ahead and just make... My excuses right now. Yeah, no, they're good excuses. Um, this controller doesn't really work. If we were playing my controller on my rig, I. I to, to, be, totally... to be fair, Mysterious Gamer X pointed out the controller defect, so. I, I there think... was also a mysterious corrosive fluid on the on the controller when we pulled it out. Yeah, of there the, kind of um... was. Yeah, it that did, was exciting. It I mean, did take me a little while to find the controller, and it wasn't a forgotten junk drawer. We I'm did, sorry. and we did Clorox it, but like, who knows what what dark magics. It had ingested at that point. <laughs> Where did this guy even go? It's raining men. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I picked the right Let's Play channel. Yeah, I think, well, <laughs> so we all have one thing in common, and it's... We're massive nerds. Okay, now that's a that's a that's a term people get real defensive about. So we're we're the bad kind of we're massive nerds. nerds. We're, we're filthy casuals. I uh like to we're, give you an idea of what a the... nerd I am. I run a website that publishes comics. We're the medieval peons of filthy casuals. Like, <laughs> so. We're actually such filthy casuals. The protective layer of dirt <laughs> is why we can enjoy anything anymore. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Neat. Nice. So, what you can do... do the cool God, those things. sassy legs. Uh, hey, all right, we got trash. We got trash. We we got and are. <laughs> it's weird, these are just Nintendo Power magazines from 2002. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, God, give us the full view, though. Okay. Yes. <laughs> let's God, really, really get in there. Let's get... Let's just... Aww. Let's Come just, on, Dark Souls! Come on, let us go on you know, this adventure together. You know, I kind of fully expected us to clip inside and get to see teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but then I remembered that this is Dark Souls and not a Bethesda game. Because if it was Bethesda, you know oh, we'd have gotten teeth and eyes. Oh, God. We would have just gotten the tongue box, whatever they call that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Bethesda makes my very favorite games in the entire world, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lie, that's a big part of that. What I... There is not the first thing I do when I play a new Bethesda game is kill something and get it stuck in a doorway because <laughs> in the darkest hours of my life there has always been that. So what do you guys think? Two thousand souls, keep going. Uh we should go back and uh we've still got seven Estes. True. Well I'm curious, there was a little like platform with a, a shiny thing back there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm sorry, talking about. I missed that one. Yeah. All right, let's get that real quick though. You're not a not a platform, but a, a ledge window yeah. down there. Um, that guy. Right there. How do we get right there? Leap. I was gonna say, is that a right now get right there, or is this like that? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Asylum. Do you Might have a tooth necklace though. Oh, that's part of our outfit. Okay, apparently we don't. It's right it's part of the summer fashion. In, is it up uh, those stairs? Right, undead well, bird. Summer fashion this year is um, oh, is a stained yes poncho is. from job. your stepdad's couch, <laughs> and um, some gourd flasks. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, I, I do feel like some I... hot pants from Anthropology. One boot, <laughs> um, and a, a sword from that one store in every mall. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have that store in we, our mall? You had to reveal how tiny of a town we live in. Of course we don't. We barely have a Spencer's. Hey, hey. We, we have a store where if we wanted to take our own swords, we could get them engraved. It's true. I mean, we could take our guns into Chipotle here. There's bragging about weapons in, in Montana. I feel like we should be proud that we have a Chipotle. That is a recent addition. Are you it's kidding? True. Okay. I was Googling when Chipotle would come here for years. All I had was one article in the Missoulian from 2012, and I oh. waited. And I, I knew Durgan. that Chipotle was coming. Tyler Durgan. That dragon's name is now Chipotle Tyler. <laughs> no, it, yeah, Tyler Durgan. No, Ch Ch Chipotle Tyler. So remember how you're talking about fighting whole swarms of dudes? Yeah. Is this only one dude and an archer? Two oh. dudes and an archer. Three dudes. Oh, where did <laughs> that come from? Maybe not be there. Use fire, dum dum. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that we we have yeah. that. I don't. So I usually play uh, the deprived class, which is the stupid option that dummies do. I'm sorry, I'm just so used to being hardcore that I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, I forgot. It, I forgot to have an easy button. It's not. It's not hardcore. Yeah. Or uh, Jeez, these guys are relentless. They got nothing else going on in it's their true. lives. I mean, and they're on lives. Like, these, the char the bad guys, well, the guys in Dark Souls have the superpower that I would want to have, where, uh, you keep coming back forever. I don't even mind that you turn into a terrifying monster if you don't do enough murders. Um, <laughs> isn't that kind of a perk? Yeah, right? Being a terrifying monster. <laughs> have you guys ever had video game mechanics enter your dreams? A few times, yeah. I, I had, after I played Black and White for a really long time, I had the God Hand in my dreams, which was really interesting and handy. But I also got, I also have always had, since I started playing video games, the auto-resurrect at a bad class. point. 
So oh, like, yeah. I'll have like a dream where like I'm where walking on a pier, then die. right? Like I'm walking on a pier and I fall through the pier and it auto saves as I fall through the pier and get eaten by a shark. And I feel like this game is kind of the embodiment, maybe, of, of that particular <laughs> like nightmare. I will say at least the bonfires all seem to be in relative safe zones. So when you hey, respond, here's bonfire. Ooh, right next to all them dudes. Well, no, I mean the dudes legs. aren't in this room. We have to go outside. Gotta to get, warm you know. up our legs. God, we got little twiggy. So. It occurs to me that a Dark Souls cosplay would be really easy as long as you go with the, like, early game look. My dude, I think if you Dark Souls cosplay, you get kicked out of the con for looking like a panhandler. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with great respect for the panhandlers, but that seems like the, the likelihood, the likely reality. So I just uh, upped our endurance, strength, strength, and dexterity. We have so I I just couldn't help but notice Lucky has very little faith. Yeah. Um. Would you have faith? I mean, I wouldn't. Oh, also, right. everything responds when again. you sit at the fire. Lucky, Lucky also knows that they are scorned by their creator, <laughs> and also by uh, the My creator that God. made the good one. <laughs> The good Lucky, the original Lucky, and she knows she's a, a living falsehood, so what What force could she have faith? She doesn't have faith in herself, and I think that's really where the character arc in this game is. Oh my god, leapfrog there. The other thing uh, about Dark Souls is that those people we met at the beginning in that intro cutscene uh -huh. are the gods of this world. And remember I told you that everybody who shows up in that you are is either dead or you have to dodge roll them to death? Right. So... Okay, we got, we got another world. sick um, booty short situation, and I'm really excited about that. Okay, so Lucky's ultimate character arc is to have faith in herself. And that is much easier. Yeah. And so I feel like that's the goal we should work towards. Confidence and self-reliance and, uh, and independence. Oh, hey! Hello. nice, Nicely done. It's almost like you almost like you've played this before. Hey, here's a guy. Oh man, I would really have been surprised if I didn't already know. <laughs> That's okay. If we ever come through here again and I'm with the stick, I will be very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well now. You seem to have your wits dude. about you, hmm? Yeah. You How are you hanging out here customer. without these people? Well he doesn't have a face as far as I can tell. Well uh, he's probably like that guy sitting at the bottom of the situation. In that, yeah. he'll probably wreck us if we cross him. All right. After yeah. purchasing this purchase, making a purchase, I think it's about time to wrap it up for this episode. Well, we don't have to t make a purchase right now, uh, but do we have shorter pants that we can purchase? <laughs> uh, the, not shorter pants, but chainmail leggings. Uh, yes. Uh, also, we've got the D-pad is also not great. No, no, it is not. Not a lot about this controller is great. <laughs> but we can also get a new hat, a new shirt, some new gloves. Man, better armor just seems like a way to go. And also that key for a house. Yeah, we can get a house if we want. Um, Undead bird, that's here, the best they, they could do? Will still try to kill us? Oh, yes. Or are we Every considered day. part of the landed gentry, then? You know, <laughs> I, I feel like... During uh, the French Revolution, my friend. Yeah. Maybe you're maybe in a different time period, another time, another place. Um, I'm gonna stop quitting rent. That would be one thing, but it gives us access to a chest with some items in it. Hey, so it's that's always cool. you know what? That's what they keep telling us is that we're just not purchasing enough property. Let's do something to shut the Atlantic <laughs> the fuck up and get ourselves some property. Just prove them wrong about prove millennials. Prove them wrong about millennials. All right, there we go. And <laughs> also some pants if we have enough. For we pants. don't need pants. <laughs> also, we don't. That was uh, that was our whole budget. We blew <laughs> our entire pants budget okay. on <laughs> millennials buying houses, oh, but oh, not pants. It's... Actually, that stacks up. That does stack well. up. That sounds like something I would read in the if New York. Millennials would just stop buying pants. They could buy millennials a house. killing yeah. pants. <laughs> Last, last I heard it was avocado Also, millennials toast. are wearing too many pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So before we go away, I have a question for all of you. Uh -huh. Have any of you ever read or seen the film uh -huh. Fifty Shades of Grey? No. I, I have not. I read it a, sounds bad. I read a forum series where people were reading Fifty Shades of Grey chapter by chapter. I, I did so read like, the fanfic history, the rich fanfic history. So it's a history. let's play for books, basically. And, <laughs> so, like, so like using a filter so that you don't have to look directly at the sun. Yeah. Yeah. I was I, using other people's sanity for my own gain. I also have not. But the point of this conversation wasn't that. Uh, in a recent My Brother and My Brother and Me episode, they... The denim episode! Well, no, they pointed out that Christian Grey uh -huh. has special sex pants. That's what I was saying, the denim! Is that the title? Bon well, it's not the title of the episode, but it's the bone down pants. The, uh... Yeah, like special pants for banging. And that feels like a very, speaking as a millennial... Millennial thing. I feel like no. I feel like what they should sell is is sex socks. Socks to keep your feet warm. They do. You know what they're called? What? Socks. No, special slipper sex socks with like <laughs> with sexy things on them, like um. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Extra that, boobs for your toes. I don't know. That just about does it for this episode of Endless Mode. Oh, God, no, but first we have to come up with some branding for sex socks, guys. <laughs> Brainstorm. We need some names. Uh, I want three names before we end this. <laughs> Slip hers? Like I feel a... like sex foot, socks. Foot condoms. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> um... Nope, that's not how you jump. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, All I right. forgot this guy's still here. Don't get oh, whoops, off I got task. The wrong thing equipped. Do uh. not get <laughs> off task. We are coming up with names for sex socks. There is a not inconsiderable chance that this is where my playtime ends. Oh, it whoops, doesn't no. matter. Okay. We're branding right now. We did. It. Come right. on, We're stay on task. We're all fine. We're fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Toe bangers. I would never put something called a toe banger anywhere near my toes. I'm going to go on record and say um, that. Sounds like something I'd stub my toes in all the time. Um. Yeah! Yeah, it does! Um. So maybe it's sprint and you jump automatically? I kill myself yeah, with these jokes. It is. I can't do better than toe bangers, guys. I think that's it. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm going to call Spencer's. And. <laughs> Uh, I want the rest of you guys to work on design. And uh, next episode, we'll have some mock-ups. Uh, you guys can vote on your favorites. Uh, you know, we'll gonna start it. We're going to start a Kickstarter. They're going to be so disappointed next episode. Um, first on tier is one pair. <laughs> uh, top tier, we actually put your face on them. Uh, you know, so. because I want my face on stuff involved. So get size. your good angles in because <laughs> these are supposed to be alluring. All right. Well, you can look forward to that on the next episode. Next episode of Toe Bangers. <laughs> I don't want to be on the slide play like anymore. <laughs> uh, All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, and, bye. And maybe, maybe in the comments. Leave your brand idea Absolutely. for toe bangers. Absolutely, we're, you know, we're, it's still a work in progress. All right. Uh, <laughs> in any case, we're gonna get out of here before this gets worse. So, see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>